Goosebumps. I am here to sell Costa Rica to you guys. Costa Rica in the rainy season, it rains every night. Every night. So every morning you wake up, everything is nice and clean and beautiful and fresh and awesome and the grass is all green and the flowers are blooming and the smells of all the different plants and flowers and the leaves of, oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. ribs yeah so um, I will attach the recipe for you guys anyway I just want to let you know that I am not sponsored by the coldest water bottle yeah but I did get one yes because I've been watching everybody with their coldest water bottle and I'm just jealous because it must be it must be okay, right? I mean, if everybody's freaking getting sponsored by it, or is it just their glue is good, um, or is it just because everybody's getting paid good money to sponsor it? Uh, okay. Well, anyway, um, so it comes with this top. See? Yeah. And you're supposed to wash it out with soapy water. So give me a second here. And we're back. Pro with my coldest water bottle. Oh, and also, um, I ordered. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is a special, like sucky, sucky cup thing. Sucky, like, yeah. Instead of having to open the whole thing to get a drink, you know? Because right now, oops, sorry. Right now, it's just a wide mouth bottle, right? See. well sealed we have two additional straws for the inside oh Jesus Murphy <laughs> okay anyway here is the top there you go and then you gonna lift it up like that so you can drink out of it so you suck suck from there you take one of the straws you stick it in the little I don't know if you can see it with the light. Is the light shining on there? Maybe there somewhere. Anyway, there's a thingy sticking out that's made. That's made for the oops. That's made for the straw. See? Okay, I better give this a rinse right. It's clean, right? Huh? What the heck? Ugh. I guess I gotta bend it when it goes in. My hands are wet. Hi, man. I miss you. I'll come see you soon when I'm in Edmonton. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there is lots of butter in here on my potatoes and my corn, but of course, I've been spending a lot of time doing other things, so now there's no butter on anything because it all came off. But anyway, I'm gonna Try some potato. Mmm. Oh, mmm. I was at work the other day and I told my husband, make some Hasselback potatoes. He's like, the f is a Hasselback potato? So he looked it up. I said, check YouTube, figure it out. 
So we did. You did a good job too. I just took a little bit of it. You couldn't figure out what rosemary was, so. I made rosemary butter when I got home. Mmm. Mmm. Onions. Oh man. You guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's some perfection right there. I already cut them. They, they were long strips like this, but I cut them already just to make it a little bit easier. You guys, anything Asian. <laughs> anything Asian, man, I'll eat it. I just love Asian food, anything. Mmm. Yum. Mmm, yum. The coldest water bottle, you guys. Link is not in the description because I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Wait, I don't need to tip it. Ugh. Yum. <sighs> so what have you guys been up to? Guess where I'm going. That's right. On a trip. I'm heading to Costa Rica again, you guys. Yepper. Me and my girlfriend, Darlene. Mmm. We're meeting up in Calgary. And then we are heading south. I know, you guys are probably like, but it's summer right now in Canada. Why are you going south in the middle of summer? Huh. Well, the thing is, you see, the really super hot weather is not something that I prefer. And in Costa Rica right now, mmm, cheese. Right now in Costa Rica, it is 30th rainy season. And you're probably saying, yeah, so what the fuck are you doing going to Costa Rica in the rainy season? Well, I am here to sell Costa Rica to you guys. Costa Rica in the rainy season, it rains every night, every night. So every morning you wake up, everything is nice and clean and beautiful and fresh and awesome and the grass is all green and the flowers are blooming and the smells of all the different plants and flowers and the leaves and oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. Every now and then, yeah, yeah, you get rain during the day, of course, it's rainy season. Anyway, the temperature is always about 25 degrees in the daytime. It drops down to around 17, 18 at night. Right now here in Fort McMurray, guess what the temperature is? 13. 13 degrees Celsius, yeah. And I have pretty much all my garden planted except for a couple things that are over on the counter over that that way in my arrow garden but other than that man everything else is planted mm. yeah oh I'm so excited I can't wait I haven't seen her now was that home last summer 
No, I don't think so. I think it was the summer before that I went back to Newfoundland. And anytime I go back, I always go visit my girlfriend. Yeah. Mmm. In my garden from last year and stuff so you guys can see what i went up to and <clears throat> i'm going to insert some of darlene's pictures too if she lets me turtle in this pot. Oh my god. Did you really? Yeah. Bye guys. See you later. Bye. But I love you. See ya. Oh my god. Honk the horn so they leave dirty. Where are they? <laughs> They're right in front. Oh. Oh shit. They're going up the horn. Oh see? shit. Yeah. I'm gonna insert some pictures of my garden and stuff. I'll message her and ask her if it's okay. Yeah. Oh my God, her, her garden is, I would say probably the most beautiful garden I've ever seen in my life. I'm not kidding. You know, excluding all those fancy schmancy government funded gardens and stuff like that all over the world, you know? But man, for somebody's backyard, oh, it's heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. She was my inspiration to get started. Yep. Yeah. Mmm. Butter. <laughs> Julia Child. You'd be so proud. Oh my God, more fuzzies. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, my friend Darlene, she's uh, she's really big into the gardening and stuff. And for her, it's mostly uh, plants and flowers. And just as of like the past couple of years, she's really gotten into doing some vegetables and stuff. Yeah. Like broccoli and herbs and all this. Anyway, yeah, so we we lost touch with each other for quite a while and then when I, mm, mm, when we started talking again we came to realize how much we have in common and it's so awesome she was my best friend during childhood Yeah, and she's great. And coldest water bottle, link, link not in the description below. Coldest water bottle, link is not in the... <laughs> coldest water bottle, link is not in the description below. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, I don't need to tip it. Shit. Yeah. But anyway. We also have something else in common. <sighs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you guys, you know how I've been telling you guys that I had the weight loss surgery and all that stuff, right? And I lost a bunch of weight. Oh my God, I'm getting full. And I've had surgeries now to remove excess skin and stuff. Got my boobs done, got them lifted. 
got implants. The implants went bad. So I had to go back to Mexico, get the implants removed. Got another breast lift. So now I've got no tits, but I'm happy having no tits. I like not having tits. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, so now I have a lot of scars, you guys. A lot of scars. So many. I'm still not done with my surgeries yet because I still have a lot more skin left to get rid of. But anyway, I got rid of a bunch of skin on my arms. So now I've got big scars go right down here on both. And uh, and I want to get some really nice tattoos. So the tattoo the tattoos that I want on both arms are Plumeria Vines. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a bunch of really awesome flowers, like a vine underneath, and then eventually maybe get it to wrap around my shoulders or something like that. I don't know, that's my plan. So, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, oh. So I might start getting some tattoos while I'm in Costa Rica. That's kind of the plan. Darlene already knows about it. That I'm interested in doing that. So we'll see. We will see. It might take a little while. I don't want to take away too much of our time together because this trip is all about me and her, not about me. Yeah. Mmm. So good. Mm. Anybody else love the bone? I love the bone. Yum. Butter, a butter, a butter. Butter, a butter, a butter. The recipe for this, you guys, is super, super easy easy peasy beautiful <laughs> mm. let's see let's put some salt on this sucker <clears throat> Coldest water bottle. I keep tipping the damn thing. <laughs> Corn, butter, salt. You know what's really funny? I'll tell you what's really funny. You take this corn, you dry it out, you throw it in some oil with butter and salt and you pop the shit out of it and then you add some butter some salt <laughs> which is what i have mm. because i cooked it in a pot of salted buttered water and then i added butter and salt after You guys, I think I'm gonna have a <clears throat> a competition. No, not a competition. A giveaway. I think I'm gonna have a giveaway. Oh my god, that was my ankle. Did you hear that? Oh, the salt. Mmm. Oh man. I'm gonna insert. I'm gonna insert pictures of the noodles that I have. It's ridiculous. I gotta start giving some away. Oh no, my food's all gone. 
Balls! <laughs> Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then I'll have a shower. <laughs> Clam, shall we? I am full. I'm gonna have me some of this clam juice. Coldest water bottle. Link is not in the description below. Do not check for a discount code. I will not earn any money if you play. <laughs> okay, you guys, I gotta go. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.